I mean, do you see, I guess, the right to get married for With, gay without, couples? Without adoption. Without adoption or um, IVF, things like that. Right. I absolutely do. I absolutely do. And I have always supported, and this is going to alienate a lot of the conservatives in the room, and I'm really sorry, but I've always supported civil unions. And part of that because became, I was raised by two lesbians, and when my mother died, there was no legal protection for her partner, and I saw her get evicted from the house that we had all been living in, and, um, and I got evicted right along with it. So I, I have always believed there has to be some kind of legal protection for it. I supported marriage for a long time, but the problem is that the, the, the people who have proposed gay marriage have chosen to yoke gay parenting and gay marriage together. After the 2003 decision in Massachusetts, unfortunately, the American Civil Liberties Union came out with a statement saying, from here on in, when we fight for gay marriage, we're fighting for gay parenting. And so that put me in the horrible situation where I have to be against gay marriage because it ultimately means that in order to protect the, relation, the sexual relationship between two adults, you have to shatter the relationship between a child and either his father or his mother. So I do definitely, I've always supported civil unions and if I would be a supporter of gay marriage if in fact that had not happened. But unfortunately that is what happened and I think a lot of the people who I might have disagreed with 10 years ago who kept on warning that gay marriage was the portal to new things, unfortunately those people have proved right. That you, gay marriage became this tidal wave that then swept up children. And so that I always see through the children's perspective. Does that answer your question? Or